a little over two months ago, I got a vasectomy. If you don't know what that is, it's when they take your vas deferens and they chop chop. They tie it off in knots, laser it. I think that's what they do, like Star Wars. It's supposed to be a painless process, and uh, you're up and running in like three days. That's what they say. If you're one of the lucky ones like me, you were put down like a dog. You were put to sleep. Some people just get the area numbed, and they're awake, and they feel the tugging and stuff, but no pain. And that's great, but I had to be put to sleep because I am so scared of uh, stuff like that. So, operation went great, I think. I, I don't know. I wasn't down there in my ball sack. But I get home. I have the regular three days of excruciating heart to walk, ball pain, like a six-year-old kicked you in the nuts over and over and over again all day, every day. I heard that within 10 days, you're literally able to run and fornicate with your wife or girlfriend or whatever, or husband, I don't know. That wasn't the case for me. It's been nine weeks now. I'm supposed to be fully healed, and maybe I am, I don't know. But my balls still hurt. If I walk and I like stomp, boom. Whatever nut that side is on, it feels like somebody flicked me in the nuts, and that's not supposed to happen. It's not common, but I didn't read the fine print before I got the vasectomy that that can happen, and sometimes it goes away randomly a year later, six months later. Sometimes it never goes away, and I'm afraid that that's my case, where my balls feel bad for the rest of my life. That would suck. Not to give too much information, but I did the nasty for the first time in a while recently, and um, it was scary. In fact, yeah, the balls aren't back to normal yet. I'm sorry for talking about my balls so much. This isn't my regular content. I'm mostly more of a uh, toilet humor kind of guy. But today we're talking about my balls and whether or not you should get a vasectomy. I'm not a doctor. I don't even know why I'm talking like this. I'm really tired. Just be sure you want to get a vasectomy. You might be one of the lucky ones, which is most people where you get cut and a week later you're back to doing it, living life, living the dream. Or you might be like me thinking about, should I have done it? <sighs> Regrets. Do I have regrets about getting my balls chopped? No, I am already a father. I have one child and I realized this is not for me. Little backstory here. All of my 20s, never wanted kids, ever. I don't like kids. And then I turned like 31, 32 and I was like, I hear it's rewarding, let me give it a shot. I don't know if it's rewarding yet, but I try to be the best father I can be. And um, yeah, that being said, I'm good at one. And I don't regret the vasectomy. I just wish that my procedure would have been better. I got mine done for free. A lot of people ask, how much was it? I got it done for free at the Veterans Hospital. I'm a veteran. I served in the United States military. So maybe if you are a vet and you want to get your balls snipped, maybe don't go there. I don't know. Maybe go there. Maybe, maybe my surgery went perfect and I just have weak ass balls. That's probably it. I don't know. Other regrets. Yes. Before you get cut, if you decide to get cut, make sure that you freeze that sperm. Okay. Freeze that sperm. That is my biggest regret is not getting a good old batch frozen like Walt Disney. It's not about, oh, maybe I'll want kids later. I know I won't. Ain't no way I ever want more kids. It's about the fact that I didn't know that people would want to buy my baby gravy. I did not know that. That is insane to me. You probably don't believe me, but it's true. People want my genetics inside them. They want to birth little goose wains and to each their own. But I do regret not being able to give them the opportunity because I did not freeze my sperm. And I just had lab tests done a few days ago and I am basically practically sterile. There's still a few onesies and twosies in there. Doctor said, uh, come back in a few weeks and we'll do another lab test. It should say zero. This isn't a video about whether or not you should get a vasectomy. I just wanted to give you my experience. If you have any questions at all, please ask me down below. I reply to most of the comments. If you watch my videos, you know, most of my videos are not like this. This is a special treat. I just felt like talking about it. You know, I don't want anyone to have their balls hurt forever. So I also don't want you to have 10 kids, but to each their own, you know, it's not the money that'll get you. It's the crying. Batman reference. That's not a real line, by the way. Could be. I don't know. Love you guys. Love and light. Bless your balls. And so long. I'm walking away. I can't go too far because actually I have exceeded this, the, the range of my XLR cable here. Anyway, so long. Toodles.